Cake One Crafts with Paul. Hello guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to sew a button onto your neck pillow. It's one of my most favorite crafts to do. It's so fun, so, so nifty, because then you get to use your neck pillow without it sliding all around. So my materials, I'm going to start out with a um, neck pillow. Here, this one, I got this on Etsy, Hannah Montana, one of my favorite shows ever. And then I have, oops, I have a button here. I have a button that I'm going to sew onto my pillow. And then I have a pair of scissors to cut my thread. And I have some thread here. And I have a needle. So, let's get started. Okay, so I've never done this before. This is just like a first time craft project for me, but I'm it's it's always a, a fun time. So, just follow along if you need help. Okay, so first step. I'm going to start out by threading my needle. This is pretty self-explanatory. You just put the thread through the needle hole. Perfect. And then I'm going to just like cut a piece of cut a piece of thread with my scissors about about 3 feet long. Probably doesn't really matter as long as it can go through your hole a few times. And then I am going to put a knot at the end of my thread. Just a simple knot. Nothing extravagant. Okay. I'm no boy scout, but okay, so my next step, I'm just going to make sure this button has the ridges facing up. It has the ridges up and not like that. That would be upside down and it wouldn't work. So, make sure your button is facing up and then just place it where you want it to go. I'm just putting mine at the bottom here, whatever. It, it doesn't really matter. And then I'm just going to start sewing. Mm -hmm. I've never done this before, so this is the first time for me. I'm a little nervous. Just kidding, but really. So I'm just pulling my thread through here. I'm just going to make a knot to secure it in place, I guess. I'll resume in a few minutes. Okay, so if you can see here, I just tied a knot on the end of this so that it doesn't come out. And now I'm going to just keep sewing. I don't know. I don't really know how to do this, but it's okay. This is just, while I'm doing this, I just want to, just want to give a shout out to one of my friends, Rydog. I'm making this for his birthday. Oh, shoot. My thread came off the needle. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's whatever. It's fine. Oh, drop the needle. Okay. Okay, here we resume. I, I've got it under control. No worries. Guys, don't worry. It's fine. So... Oh yeah, I'm going to continue on with my birthday shout out for my BFF Ryan. I hope I get to see him pretty soon. Ryan lives in Arizona. I live in Minnesota. So there's a little problem there. We can't really hang out that much. But this year we're going to be going to a lot of meets. So I'll see him a lot. I'm just continuing to thread this through here, thread it through the bottom, through the hole, and then up again, and then through the hole again, and so on and so forth. I'd just like to take a moment to film a little backstory on why I'm doing this. <laughs> so Ryan's pillow came in the mail today. I was very excited. and. So then I was like, well, 
nothing Ryan loves more than a, a DIY YouTube video from me. Still debating if I should put this on YouTube or not. It's a little unprofessional. I have a channel. It kind of has an established reputation. So, sorry Ryan if this doesn't end up on YouTube. But, it'll all work out for the best. So, I'm just finishing off the ends here. Tying a few knots, you know. And then... After this, I'll be filming a section on how to make a little clasp to clasp onto your, onto your button. So, there's my cat, my only friend. Um, well, just tying a few knots here at the end, finishing some loose ends, gonna cut the string pretty soon in a few seconds. So here I go. I'm going to be cutting the thread here. And it, I cut it. Here we go again. I feel like I'm cutting a suture. Grays, am I right? Okay, this looks so fabulous. Oh no, this isn't going to work. Uh. <laughs> You see, this isn't going to work because I have a little piece of thread there. And so the clasp won't be able to clasp over the button. So I guess I'm just going to try to cut it and then see what happens. It's probably going to unravel. That's okay because I'll just do it over, I guess. That's fine. Whatever. So... There might be a take two coming up here. Bye. Hello and welcome to part two of button neck pillow sewing class with Paul. So I've got my button on. I'm not sure how secure it is, but now I'm I'm just gonna use this like old shoelace to clasp to this side so that it can clasp so that it doesn't slide all over your neck when you're trying to sleep. Um, this pillow is a little small on me. It happens to be an infant toddler pillow, but it's the only one I could find. I figure Ryan's small. So, I'm just trying to measure out the length it would take. <sighs> okay. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to clasp this on here, and then here, I'm going to try to measure out. It looks like it's going to take about the full length of this shoe lace to be able to clasp. Granted, Ryan is a bit smaller than me. My neck, like, you know. But I hope it doesn't choke you at night. It looks a little sketchy right now, but... I'll be working on that. See you in a few. So at this point, I am just threading my needle back and forth through the loops so that I can try to get this shoelace on here. That's, that's about it. You know, this was not very complicated. I'll do some knots at the end. Pretty basic. This is one of your pretty basic tutorials. I'll be coming out with some harder ones soon, but I just I just hope you guys enjoyed this. <sighs> the best part is being whoever you want to be. Yeah, yeah, you get the best of both. Yeah, yeah, you get the best of both. Yeah, yeah, you get the best of both worlds. You get the best of both worlds. Chill it out, take it slow. Then you rock out the show. You get the best of both worlds. 
Mix it all together and you know you got the best of both worlds. <laughs> oh, there she is. Say happy birthday to Ryan. Well, Kitty says hi. Bye, Kitty. So, here's the finished product. It looks really nice, and I'm really grateful now, very, very grateful, that I put this clasp on here so that at night it doesn't slip off of your head because it's a little small, this neck pillow. But it's so, it's just so easy as one, two, three. You can just take the button off, and then you just take it off and in the morning, and your neck isn't sore. And just here's the final product. I hope you love it so much, Fry Dog. I miss you, and I hope you have the best birthday ever. I love you. Bye!